it in the mail MS sex games from Japan Collecting without fail Those shoot 'em ups And that's the plan He doesn't just collect them He also codes them too Join us and we'll go on Electric Adventures With you Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with A package in the mail all the way from Canada, and it's from Toby at Collectivision. Um, now, before Christmas, Collectivision did a whole lot of re releases. I believe those are um, those, those particular ones, and they include uh, a re release of my own title, um, EA Classics. So, let's see what he sent me. Uh, lots of beads. Now, I got a copy of the re-release of my one because it's got a different cover. Um, I obviously already have two cover variants of my own title, but there it is, EA Classics. I think these new covers are very well designed. It's my EA Classics are three of my original Machine Code games that I wrote for the Spectre Video and MSX converted across to the Coleco, so Birds of Orion, Media Swarm and Munch Mania. So that's pretty cool. I think they're all just on standard black cartridges. And there's the cartridge. And it has a manual and everything like that, similarly themed. That's the first one. Now, the rest of them will be games that I don't have. Um, either recent releases or some re-releases. So the first one is called Mind Walls, which I think is an Arkanoid type game. I haven't played any of these. Compatible with the roller controller. That's interesting. I haven't actually used the roller controller for a while. So you use the roller controller to move the paddle back and forth. That'll be cool. Um, wow, there's a lot of things in here. This is going to be a long video. Oh, that's actually particularly good. I've been into chess lately, and this one is Chess Challenger. I never knew there was a chess program for the Coleco. I'm looking forward to giving that one a go. And then we have um, Rollerball. Now I do have Rollerball for the MSX. So it's a scrolling, vertical scroll, well, flip, flick scrolling um, pinball game. And it's actually quite a good game. This is that converted over. It does require the uh, Super Game module. By the way, the Chess Challenger doesn't. And the Mine Walls doesn't. There's more in here than I thought. So a lot of these are re-releases. So these are past collective uh, vision titles that I missed out on. So we have Puyan, which is a really, really good game. I actually really like Puyan, um, and I, I do have a copy of the MSX version. It's actually quite rare in the MSX because it's a B card game, not a normal cartridge, but it plays really well. I'm interested to see how this conversion compares. Um, oh, okay, double one. Pyramid Wart and Battleship Clapton 2. There are a couple of, uh, I think, Toshiba released games for the MSX. Battleship Clapton 2, I will dare say. Is a bit of a, um, a stinker <laughs> from memory, <laughs> but I can't remember what Pyramid Warp is like. I haven't played for ages. Next, we have um, so this is convert would have been converted across from the SG1000 is Zippy Race. That's actually a um, you know behind the vehicle perspective racing type game. It's actually not too bad. 
and the SG-1000. Uh, then we have, this is another SG-1000 conversion, is Penguin Land. Oh, I didn't say it. The um, Zippy Race doesn't require a Super Game module, neither did the Pyramid Warp one. Or the, um, or the Puyan one, which is good. Uh, this one, yeah, just for straight my system, is Penguin Land, and it's a puzzle type game. It's actually quite good fun. Uh, you've got to work your way down through the mazes, rolling your um, egg without breaking it. These boxes are fantastic. So the next game is Puzzly. I don't know much about this one at all. I'm not sure whether we've got a match, you know, um, sets of four or... Oh, I'll have to work that one out. That one looks quite interesting. I really like puzzle games. I like the cover on that one. Uh, next we have the conversion of Chack and Pop, which is a puzzle platform type game. Another MSX conversion. Doesn't require the Super Game module. It's good. Ooh! A Collectivision title I missed out on before, which is Lord of the Dungeon, which is a, um, a 3D maze adventure game. Oh, and a very, very nice one. I was actually working on a con conversion of this myself, but somebody else uh, did it, and it's Eggerland Mystery. The Eggerland games on the MSX are absolutely fantastic. 100 levels these have. Uh, this one does require the Super Game module. Um, really, really good, fun game. Really nice graphics. Oh, and this is a conversion of the AE game from the uh, MSX, and it's a shooter. I don't actually have that for the MSX. I have played it though. Um, I don't think I've played this game. Ozma Wars. We're going to have a lot of gameplays in this video. That's another shooter type game. Um, another really old homebrew release is Armageddon. And this one is a Missile Command clone. Or, you know, home port. Looks quite interesting. I've never played the ROM or anything like that. Oh, another really cool arcade game is Elevator Action. I actually really enjoy the arcade game Elevator Action. getting quite large and we're still going I don't know much about this game it's bugs and bots looks like a bit of a puzzle platform game and next we have Buster Brothers which is basically a Pang clone Looks very colourful and very well done. A Pang is another really good game. And this looks very well done. Okay, one more. The Cat SOS game. So we have to catch the stuff that's coming down or something. Very cool. I've never heard of that one either. So, really, really cool. I don't know where that one came from at all. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 new homebrew titles for the Coleco Vision. Um, well, what more can we do then? Plug them into the Collega Vision and give them a go. Right, so here we go with the first game, Chack and Pop. And I said I do have this for the MSX. It's not a bad little game. Nice little 
interesting. So we can move our guy and he can stick to the ceiling like that. And you can drop bombs to the left. Left or right. And it's the smoke that kills things. And you've got to release the heart, which I've now done. And you just got to make it up to the exit. So we've got four monsters, we didn't get any eggs, so the idea is we've got to try and get the eggs before the hatch. Gotta watch though is that the um, the smoke will kill your main character as well. There's a bonus fruit. So it's just, you know, it's a bit of a fun platformer. Oh, we've still got a mini, I didn't realise. Oh, almost got myself. To draw him out this way. As you can see, quite well done music and puzzle elements and things like that. Obviously I'm not getting many um, bonuses, I'm not getting many eggs. Eggs can be in... Oops, missed. Since we do have a lot of games to get through, I better go on to the next one. Right, so next we have Egeland, Mister Egeland Mystery. <coughs> Pardon me, as you can see, quite colourful. Hmm. Okay, demo mode. Okay, so here we go. So the idea is, is you have to get through the maze. Um, you have... Right, you can pass, yeah, grab those which give you um, this, which you can use to get rid of the enemies. Like that. Oh, accidentally used two. And then we can push that one out of the way. So we need to use a native. Oh, damn. Can't go past the snake. Oh 
So you can jump to a level by putting in the particular code. You start out, you, you grab the gems, and that gives you like power shots. You can push these as long as there's nothing on the other side. And you can shoot the gems, which is what I just did there. you've collected all the gems, the door opens and you can go to the next level. So it's a puzzle game, puzzle semi-action game. Now we have some different enemies. So you need to very carefully think about what block you're going to push where. Um, so if I push that that way, I need to be able to get it right out of the way, so let's push it all the way down there. And we need to push that out of the way. Grab these gems. Grab these gems. Push this across here, which will block that skull in there. Because as soon as you get the last gem, the um, the creatures come alive. So there you go. So now the skull guy is going to try and come and get us. So that one wasn't too hard, but it gets harder as you go through. Now these guys, they throw flame in the direction they're facing. Like so. See? So you have to really think about what you're going to do. So obviously they're asleep to start with. As soon as we get that gem, they're going to come alive. So we need to put this block in an appropriate and it was also covering up the exit. So we put that there and now when we collect this, when he shoots, that block is going to block him. So it's things like that. Um, and I said there's a hundred levels and once again we've got another different enemy here. So you've got the different things and they come in different varieties. And it's a, actually a really cool little game. Alright, let's try the next one. Right, so next we have AE. Now, I do remember playing the MSX versions back in the day, but I haven't seen a copy in a very long time, so expect me to be rubbish. I'll just go for the easy level. Oh, that's right, you've got to hold your fire button down to get the shots to go all the way up. and your, where your shots land is how far you let it pitch shoot. So it's trying... A, oops, it's trying a semi 3D thing. So it's sort of like you're shooting an area effect. like Missile Command. Quite colourful scene backgrounds.
So it's a little bit of a different shooting strategy. of you know vertical oh ah funky backgrounds. Challenging so far, but I am playing it on easy. What shall I point out? That was lucky. Exact, I think, is if you wipe out all the formation. Yeah, it's pretty good how you can judge. There's A. Not too bad. An okay game. A bit of a meandering pace, but um, an interesting one nonetheless and some quite good backgrounds. Right, let's try our next game. Right, so next we have Osmos. So 2011. Whoops. Uh, whoa. It's a bit of a dodge shoot type game. These red ones fire a lot of shots. every time you hit lose some energy
Talking time. And that charges our energy up. I'll take it we lose energy every time we... Well, we're losing energy all the time. Oops. You lose a lot of energy. Get, getting hit. There's quite a few different enemy types. Oops. Whew. I was getting low on energy then. It's a pretty mean scoring game too. It actually um, really gets gets going there, uh, considering that was level one. Um, yeah, not a bad little shooter there for an early, um, you know, an early shooter game. So based on some of the early '80s uh, arcade games, I think not too bad. Let's try our next one. We go Armageddon, 2011. the city already. I take it we actually have left right and right button. Out already? God. And the two button does the middle one. Okay. Okay, we don't need to get those because they're not going to kill cities. Well, this is not a bad um, missile command kind. This is. Pretty decent. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is quite well done. Oh, I lost my...
silly young guy lost. Uh oh, look at uh There we go. This is actually really good. I'm totally surprised I haven't seen this before. Nothing else comes down. I've got no <laughs> no missiles left, and only the one city. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! So close. You have to be really careful. Ah. Oh. to stay alive. Uh -oh. Ow. No, no. Somehow still managing to go level 10. Miss, 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 miss. Miss, 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 that's okay. Too much of a fall out. Oh! Oh! Oh, got a second city, but that actually makes it harder because now I've got more things to defend. still alive um, but thoroughly enjoying this it's really limited on the ammo which is probably good in some ways oh I oh, lost that extra city level 13 I really can don't think I got one oh what am I doing Definitely gets hard. I do like the um, uh, what's those missiles over there? The uh, chain. Oh, an extra city again. Somehow I'm still alive. Somehow I'm still alive. Even though I'm constantly choosing the wrong missile tower to... Almost got 10,000. Amazing. <laughs> Back up to three cities. Level 18.
Mm -mm. Lost one of the cities again. Alright, we'll get to level 20. No, oh, and we're gone. There we go. Game over! <sighs> well, what an awesome version of Miss Archimed. <laughs> it's actually really good fun. Alright, let's try our next game. Right, here we go with elevator action. So you enter the hotel. You have to Ooh, avoid the bad guys. Oops, yeah. So this is, looks like it's based off the SG-1000 version of the game. Oh, oh. Getting the controls confused. Where's me elevator? You need to go in each of the red doors. Right, now I've got the briefcase. Oops. Oh. oh, shot me. The controls are a little confusing. Okay, so not quite as good as the MSX version. Briefcase. Now we've got to wait for the elevator. We could just jump over. Oh, bugger. Oh. Gotta be quick. Oh, God, that didn't give me much chance. Yeah, so it's not bad, it's not, it's not. Good, as good as the MSX version. I do have the SG-1000 version, so I know that's where that one's from. Um, but um, it's still a fun game. Um, I just slightly prefer the MSX version. Um, the um, NES version's not too bad either. Right, let's try our next game. Right, so next we've got Bugs and Bots. For some reason the cover isn't showing. It's okay. No, I've never played this one before, I've never seen it before. So I'm a little dude down the bottom. Jump, there's ladders, those. 
up the ladders. In a way, this actually reminds me of Chucky Egg. Ah, oh, that's a bit pinky. Lead vinegarness is gonna be my undoing. Right, done a label. So, other than the, you know, a little bit of collision detection. Uh, nuttiness on that. It's I'm very much I'd say a Chucky egg clone. So it gets a little harder and things like that. Alright, that's quite an interesting game. I might spend a bit more time on that later. Um, not a bad little platform. I reckon Chucky Egg inspired. So next we have Buster Brothers or Peng. It's quite a, um, an interesting game, a little bit of, uh, in a way, Asteroids inspired by the way that, um, setting myself up for failure here. Let's have another go. Here we go. Oh. And it's harder than you think. Well, at least is when I'm playing it. too hard, didn't I? Oh, and just like Asteroid, you want to make sure you don't break up too many at once. No. Oh. 
And you can actually destroy the platforms, which I didn't know about. Well, look, it's not a bad game. My poor gameplay shouldn't um, make it look as bad as this. <laughs> but it's actually quite good fun. And I usually am much better at it. So, not a bad game. Let's try the next one. Now, another game I've never heard of before. Caterpillar Tractor Come Presents SOS. Scheduled oil sampling game. Okay. Uh, maybe we should. Move all those up or down, left or right. Yeah. Push dirt piles from right or left to get profit. Send oil sample by pushing side button. Okay. And cat for, for repairs. Bulldozer cannot cross dirt piles. Vertical. Okay. Breakdown will occur if repair and SOS warnings are ignored. Okay. Okay, so we need to put all the spots. Cat TLR, I accidentally run into that. Breakdown. Breakdowns, repairs not needed. Good use. Okay. Simple gameplay, probably more in there that I'm not reading into, but um, yeah, not bad. And there's never seen or heard of that one before at all. Right, let's try the next game. Right, so here we go, Chess Challenger. Right, take it. And white. Interesting to see how strong it is. Based on What did I just do? Didn't really want to do that, but anyway. Um What's going on? Ah, now I've reset the game. Terribly sorry, I'm pressing I it wasn't responding. Let's go again.
interesting. So it seems to be playing an all right game. We'll see what it does here. Do you reckon? It... Yeah, it took me straight away. One of these queen. I mean, gee. And then I'll take that. Interesting. Silly. Oh, just missed an absolute doozy. I suppose it didn't really. A pawn carriage. seem to undo if you accidentally select a piece. Now what have I done? I've done this again. I'm trying to press buttons to if I press the hash again. Anyway look you don't really need to see me play a game of chess I possibly could win that if I was concentrating a little better but that's not a bad little chess program and I didn't know there was one for the Calico so really cool let's try the next game right so next we have Rollerball quite a decent pinball game okay so it's a flick screen pinball game oops oh. Well, I mean, you have to have um, much bigger tables than would fit on a, you know, a single screen. Oh, did the, we actually just go completely out of bounds then? Oh, this one might be a bit buggy. Great. All right, I'll reset. Sorry, get my capture thing up that comes up every time it resets. Just wait for that to disappear. Takes a time. Alright, let's try this again.
I do believe this is a bit of a buggy, um, buggy game. The MSX version doesn't do this. Anyway, we'll move on to the next one, and I might. Um, does that one have to have the? Yeah, it has to have the Super Game module. So I'm not sure about that one. That one might have a little bit of a bug in it. The um, but take it from me, the MSX version uh, plays quite well. Let's try the next game. Right. So next we have Puyen. As I said, I really do like the MSX version of this game. Um, I'm very glad that I have a copy on B card. Just loose, no box or anything like that. But it's it's actually quite a good fun arcade game. The Atari 2600 version is not bad either. It's got a couple of stages and reasonable music. So, whoops. So you've got to shoot the balloons. And you can't get hit by their shots. You can get a super shot, uh, but don't get hit by the other things. So, you... And you can shoot the shots. And you've got the super shot. And if you can use the super shot properly. You can get some really good bonus points like I just did there. Now if one of them makes it to the bottom, they'll come up and they'll climb the ladder behind you and try and knock you off. ones that are close to you, you've got to really time your shots properly. And they said if you do too low, there you go. Yeah. And the music's Repetitive, but it works. <laughs> They're pretty um vicious. So there we go. I cleared round one, and none of them got past me. Everyone that makes it to the top is another one that's trying to push the rock up there. pushing the rock, which will then go off the edge and kill you. Thank you. 
Last one. Oh, there we go. Woohoo! So that's round two. So that's it. To be fair, I have played this a fair bit before. I've only got these things. It's not a bad game, it's quite good fun. Um, I reckon they've got some of the uh, music in drops there, not quite right, but um, it was very well done for when it was converted across. Alright, let's try our next game. Right, so here we go with Pyramid Wolf and Battleship Clapton 2. Nice little menu select thing. Um, yeah, not looking forward to the second one, but <clears throat> let's go for Pyramid Wolf. So I think Okay, that's the gun. It's a bit like the Intellivision game Night Stalker, I think it is. Oops. Oh, that's where they come out of. Okay. Don't have the gun. Right, so we get the three things and we go to the warp. do things in. Is important. Oh. 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 Let's go up here first. No. Still got some ice. We'll go back down here again. Got the ring. Nasty monster. Oh god. No. Game over. As you can see, it's a you know a fun little maze game. Yeah, dare I? Can go back to the menu. We'll reset again. Silly capture thing will come up, and then I'll have a quick game of Battleship Clapton 2. I know how terrible I remember this game. One of the games we got back for, got for the MSX back in the day because it came with things. And I'm an us. It's all right, I suppose, but it's just 
This is basically the game. You just hold the button down, move around, dodge. And, um... That's it. Get our enemy come out, another enemy come out, but the patterns don't change. I can remember playing this for ages back in the day, trying to see whether it, you know you got to some sort of a boss or anything that would change the game style. Oops. You know, there's quite a few different enemy sh shapes. And I'm playing it very badly. But, um, yeah, there's not a lot of game there. Alright, let's try the next game. Next we have Zippy Race. Okay, yeah, you gotta hold the button down to speed. We can move left and right, and we have different parts of the roadway, and our fuel's going down slowly. Avoid the puddles. Gives you plenty of warning when the road shape's going to change. Hmm. Oh. There was some fuel. Cars have different smarts in them. Missed out no fuel again. Pass them at the last second. Oh, just touched him. Oh. Speed up. Oops. And see our gauge over there, we're about three quarters of the way to that first marker. sort of section when we're into the screen. This is getting close when you're getting close to the destination. Oh. 
we're only just going to make a few eyes if we make it. But for an 8-bit system, the graphics aren't too badly done. This is very simplistic, obviously there's no bends or anything like that. So we've made it to Las Vegas. Take it, we're going across the US. Yes, I don't get many bonus points there. Rank 85, 800 points. And not much fuel. <laughs> Okay, now we're in, I suppose, desert. Got different hazards. Whoa. And there's various, yeah, we can get some various bonus things by going harder places, I suppose. We got some gas. Got bonus score there. Another one there. Got some fuel. It's probably good, otherwise, we're probably not going to make it. I suppose once you learn the course, you can get some bonus, good bonuses. Yeah, now that we've got to the second stage, it shows that the game's got more to it than you first thought. Ah, oh, look at that. Lots of fuel canisters there. Get both of them this time. I only go to run out of fuel when we get to the next stage. So Lots of games to get through. So it's not a too bad game. A bit there. I remember when I got it for the SG1000, quite enjoyed it. Nice how the enemy cars can cheat. Somehow still alive. I've managed to get a decent score. Oh, I missed all that gas. And boom! Haven't <laughs> got much fuel left. Second reprieve. Good bonus score with that one. Ooh. Into the front facing bit. I suppose this bit just depends on whether you've got enough fuel to make it.
Oh, ran out of fuel. Right, next we've got Penguin Land, which is a really, really cool game. Um, another puzzle platformer. Still got a good demo mode there. Alright, I'm not going to guarantee that I'm going to get very far. So we've got to get all the way down to the bottom of this maze without breaking our egg or getting caught by anything. As you can see, it's a long way down. As you can see, it's a great, fun platform game with lots of puzzles and lots of levels too, and can take you quite a while to work out how to get um, down to the bottom in each level. So, really, really nice one. Highly recommend it. Let's try the next one. Right, so here we go with Puzzly. So it's a four in a row type game. Level. Uh, 
so groups of three. made it just. Well it's not a bad little puzzle game. I could actually probably play that one for quite some time and get enjoyment out of it. Alright, um, now I had a problem with Lord of the Dungeon so um, I'll just have a bit more play about that. I need to get out my roller controller to try and mine walls. Alright, so here we go with mine walls and I've got out the roller controller which is cool because I never actually have the roller controller out for a while. What did I do wrong? Why am I randomly dying? Oh, I'm having weird collision detection problems with this too. Maybe my Reset again. I'm starting to think that maybe my cartridge slot might need a little bit of a clean. Hmm, hang on. again. We were just getting this random collision detection issues. This is really weird. It's a bit disappointing because the game looks quite interesting. Oh well. Um, might need uh, a little bit of a clean up the country sock socket maybe, but um, that's all right. Lots of games we had a look at there, um, and I love a good Arkanoid game, so I will persevere and see if I can get that game to work, as well as the other one I couldn't play, which was Lords of the Dungeon. All right, absolutely massive lot of Coleco games for the ColecoVision added to my collection. Lots of homebrews that I missed out on. Uh, back in the day they've been re-released by Collectivision with new covers so that makes them different from the original ones and very nice covers indeed um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and these gameplays I'm Electric Adventures thanks to all my subscribers thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time